I'm back in the desert because some watcher I did miss one item and it's in this room. This is the above the room that had the um the mushrooms, the three mushrooms. But anyway, hidden block right there, a thunder rage. A very good item. And yeah, there's a reason why I decided to pick up now rather than wait after the boss. We're gonna be using the boss, but anyway. Now I'm gonna cut back to well the boss so we can take the mods. So yeah, give me a little bit. Welcome back to more Paper Mario. So last time we explored the whole of Tri Tri Ruins. Got a couple of secrets too, including the Slowgrow badge, and yeah, we finished the puzzle by putting this towards the change on and yeah, now we're gonna be finally taking on the one behind that Burrow's Curse thing that's going on in here. Of course, first, let's look at badges. So Quake is good, the Dead Pan's actually good, HP Plus is good. FP plus is good, damage dodge is good, um, close call, yeah, that can be good. I'll say flat find, I mean, we don't need that. Refund, I guess, could be good, and then, yeah, we don't need these, so. And yeah, by the way, spin tax actually free BP. So, what do we want instead then? Um, most likely power bounce, shrink stomp can sometimes be pretty good. Um, smash charge might not be terrible here with Quake, so yeah, might take that. And yeah, you can put on like whatever filler badge I want, like maybe, um, looks like I have a hammer throw, spec shield's not useful in this fight, runaway pay isn't useful, so yeah, I guess it has to be, um, hammer throw. <laughs> let's go with that then. So anyway, alright, let's take on this boss then. Hey, we're gonna have Gubario as our partner for telling, obviously, but he might also be pretty good in this fight too. Anyway. We have uh, items too. These can be very useful, of course, so yeah. Uh... Alright, let's go. <laughs> this guy's pretty great, not gonna lie. You, you ignored all those very scary warnings. Don't you have the common sense to get scared right away? What's wrong with you? You shouldn't mess with Tom Cooper, a faithful follower of King Bowser. Oops, I mean, you shall regret this. All right, let's tattle um, Tom Cooper. This is Tom Cooper. He's one of Bowser's followers, but assigned to guard one of the star spirits. I've heard that he has has sort of a feral complex. 33 zero. He attacks by throwing shells from a high perch. Try to dodge when he uses magic. His attack at power is 2 and I'll sting for sure. And he also summons chomps as lore subjects. Those chomps are some serious attack power. Think hard about who to attack first. Tongue could put chomp. So yeah, as you see there, he can summon allies. So we're going to be taking that into account as well. I think I'm going to start with a shrink stomp because I believe he's acceptable to this. Yes, he is. But again, it doesn't really last that long. <laughs> come, Chomp, come, bite this intruder. Hey, it does mean that his attack is going to do less. But anyway, I do like the camera. Duh. It looked pretty cool. Alright, so yeah, he has one more. Okay, it's going to wear off, I believe. But anyway, let's tell Chomp now. It's a Chomp. You've heard about Chomps before, I'm sure. 4 3 3. They're made of such hard stuff that most of the attacks won't even phase them. I heard a rumor that the chomps are a little peed that tongue cover because he works them so hard. Alright. So yeah, that's of course to me, we should use a Thunder Rage. So let's do that. This is why I got the Thunder Rage, because it kills the chomps instantly, as you see there. And does good damage to tongue cover as well. Anyway, there you go. It doesn't really do that much. So yeah, maybe we'll go for some power bounces. Or another thing I was thinking too, I'm gonna go for the charge because then yeah, a quake can will kill the chomp. So you know, let's do that. And yeah, this will only activate when I next use my hammer. So yeah, I think I'm actually gonna charge with <laughs> good barrier as well. Why not? <laughs> I'm a magical genius. Watch and be amazed. This attack is very hard to dodge, by the way, because. And yeah, I couldn't dodge with um, Gabara, unfortunately. So that's unfortunate. 
Oh yeah, now I think I'm gonna go for some power bounces. There you go, not bad. Come, chomp, come. So yeah, is this thing going back? But the good thing is, again, I can go for my um, quake hammer. That's good. So yeah, let's yeah go for quake hammer because now it should be able to kill the chomp with the charge. And there you go, very nice. And also do a lot of damage to him as well. The barrier's back, he still charged up, which is good. We can dodge that pretty easily. Alright, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go for another power bounce. Very good. And yeah, if I go for charge one more time, I think we can take him out next turn. Anyway, he's going for his magic attack again. But it hits him, so yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> so, Gabario, let's show let's show what he can do with two charges. There you go, 12 damage in one hit, and that's it. And we got double star points, awesome. <laughs> We're gonna be close to our next level too. I'm not gonna freak out too much, because again, it just means I'm gonna be close to my next level. So yeah, nothing too outrageous like that, but hey, it is cool to see it activate against the boss, so yeah. Anyway, more BP. No! Oh, come here, Chompy. Wow, what are you- Ow, help! Yeah, he doesn't really trick them very well if that's happening, so yeah. But that is it. We defeated. Totten Koopa, so now we have... Now we can get our next Star Spirit. And yeah, that was a pretty fun chapter too. Pretty enjoyable stuff. We're a lot more powerful now as well, so yeah. And yeah, before we leave, let's get our badge up. The way it was before, so yeah. And yeah, do I need the Bound Pound coming out? I don't think I do, so yeah, I'm going to take it off. Um... They want Flower Finder back. They want these two back. And yeah, we do have a little bit more. Let's see, what could be a clip? Coming up. Because yeah, I think, yeah, what we'll do is, we'll go D down pound. But I think what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to put on Spin Attack for the time being. We did level up. I think that means we can go through the desert really easily now. But anyway, let's end chapter 2 now. End of chapter. Thus, Mario and Party unearthed the legendary tri tri ruins deep within tri tri desert. They smashed Tom Cooper the Wizard and freed Mama, the second of the wish growing star spirits. But the enemies of Wayne Mario grew ever stronger, and the challenges were difficult. What's in store for Mario and friends? Where will their adventure take them next? Let's um, continue that soon. Because it's time for some interludes. Or interlude, I should be saying, because yeah, thousands of features and interludes are pretty um connected together, so yeah, in this game. <laughs> Hello, how are you feeling, princess? Nothing makes you happier than a smile from you, Peach. Well, tough luck, I'm in a very bad mood, you monster. You've imprisoned all the guests from the castle. You are the single greatest disaster to ever before the Mushroom Kingdom. I'll tell you what, I'll smile when you make everything as it was before you showed up. <laughs> oh, that's rich. You know I can't do that. That Jack Mario just beat the Koopa Bros of Tung Koopa. Sure, they were complete wins, but they were still loyal to me. I can't forgive Mario for disrespecting me. I'm nipping this in the bud right now. I'm going to use Invincible Top of Blubber on him. He's the strongest creature I know. After me, you best forget about Mario. Your nastiness! We have a problem! Why, Kami Cooper? What's got you so rather up? You look upset. What? The Star Spirit flew away from Tobo's castle? King Bowser, keep your voice down. Princess Peach will hear you. Mm, yes, right. Tell me the details over there. Hmm. Looks like things aren't going to be so simple next chapter. <laughs> we had an invincible enemy and a star spread that fled, so, um, hmm. Did he hear that? 
Yes, I'm sh I sure did. The star strip must have escaped. Did you hear him call that tub of blubber thing invincible? That doesn't sound good. Do you think Mario can win? We'd better try and find out about tub of blubber. If he could find, if he could find something, anything about a weak point, he might just save Mario. Good idea. Then there's no time to lose. We won't get anything done if we stay in this room. All right. Let's do a little bit of stealth. These always tense me up a little bit because yeah, I wasn't really a big fan of stealth missions in um, games when I was younger, so yeah. But anyway, now yeah, we're going to be sneaking around trying to find some information to help out Mario. So let's do that. Unfortunately, we won't be able to read the diary again because I'm pretty sure that Bowser is wise up to that, so yeah. <laughs> Did you see that? So now we need to go outside. There's still guards outside. Be careful not to get caught. Yeah, how they work is, yeah, they have those flashlights, so you see that? And yeah, of course, if you get spotted by that, that's no good. So yeah. That guard's here too. Probably, probably lots of them. We better be extra cut. So yeah, here, yeah, again, don't be in that line of sight and you should be good. Thank you. Past that guy, this guy over here, yeah, he can be a little bit of a problem. Luckily though, yeah, we can sneak into here. Then maybe get the trump on him. Very touch stuff. But you also get this, power rush, and Mario's in danger is tap down increased by two. The problem is, though, we don't know how to give that to Mario, so let's get caught. <laughs> I'll show that to you. What, Princess Peach? You know you're not allowed to leave the room. I'm sorry about that, Diggy So, yeah. Because, I don't know if you have access to this yet or not. I'm going to try it, though. Because, yeah, having a power badge could be excellent. So, yeah. Are you alright, Princess? Do you hurt you? Yeah, yeah, this is the same dialogue. But, yeah, now we have a power rush. So, yeah, let's see. Can we make use of that? Is the thing. It's gonna require a little bit of stuff though. A little bit more stuff, I mean. Because yeah, once again, we don't want to be in these flashlights. And yeah, this is definitely not letting it go. It might be on the second floor, so that means that yeah, I can't get it yet. But it also could be over here. Yes, here it is. So, yeah, also in this room is Deep Focus, and when using Focus, try to starve energy more than usual. That's actually pretty good, too. Oh, look there, what a beautiful crowd treasure chest. Yes, do you like it? This is a mysterious treasure chest that's been passed down for generations to my family here at the castle. Really? How mysterious? A mysterious treasure chest. That's right, this chest is connected to another mysterious treasure chest somewhere in the Mushroom Kingdom. They say you can put things in the chest and take them out of the other chest. Isn't that, well, mysterious? Yeah, wow, that's really cool. So where's the other church chest anyway? Uh, where is it? You know, I can't remember. Yeah, let's dump the power rush. And the deep focus. There you go. Of course, we need to... Maybe stealth past? If you get caught, it's not bad either, because then, you know, we just kind of walk back to that room. That we didn't previously. But now, yeah, we're gonna need to stealth our way through again. Again, this is not too bad, it's just a bit nerve wracking. That's kind of why, yeah, my younger self didn't really like this part too much, so yeah. Of uh, course, cool. so it was pretty cool to, you know, take advantage of this a little bit more now. By, uh, getting those badges, so yeah. I think getting caught was probably the quick way back. That would make logical sense, so yeah. They once again just don't get in their line of sight and you should be good. They also take, it looks like they take pauses too when they turn around as well. So that could also be taken advantage of as well. And here we go. There's a life stream up there, but we can't get it yet. Hey, have you heard about Master Tom Blubber? I heard a rumor that he loves eating goats. Uh, ghosts, huh? Mass Tumble Blubber, he lives deep inside of Forever Forest, doesn't he? I think he's guarding one of the Star Spirits right now. 
Yeah, Master Tumblr lives in the castle at the top of Gusty Gulch. I heard that somewhere near his castle, a mansion and village full of ghosts. I guess Master Tumblr sometimes goes there to catch booze. And then, when he catches one, he gobbles it down, starting with its head. Chomp! <laughs> oh man, that's so scary. Now I'll be able to walk to the bathroom and load it. At night, I'm going to have nightmares, I know it. Why do you tell me? I also heard that Master Tumblr Bob is invincible. They say he can't be hurt. Nobody can even scratch him. He might even be stronger than King Bowser. Stronger than King Bowser? Come on, that's impossible. Yeah, it does seem like, yeah, impossible because I think Bowser could just use the Star Rod to make him not invincible anymore, so yeah. Probably not not strong than Bowser, but yeah. Even Master Tub, Tub Blubber has to have some weak points, it's just common sense. Yeah, you may be right. There's another rumor that Tub Blubber's got a secret that room if it ever got out. I bet it's about his past. I heard he didn't used to he didn't used to be strong at all. <laughs> what if Tub Blubber hears you, he might gobble us up. Still, what do you think a secret could be anyway? I don't know. No one knows. That's why it's a secret, you hot Wait, it sounds like Tub Blubber's a weak one after all. If only we could find out. Huh? Hey, did he hear someone talking just now? <laughs> Do you think someone knows what Cooper got in her? And yeah. Oh, whoa, Princess Peach, how you get her? I'm sorry to do this, but you have to go back to your room right now. And yeah. Oh no! That's okay though. We got those two badges, and yeah, we got the information we needed. And here's our next star spirit. Thank you, Mario. At last, I can I can head home to Starhaven. My name is Mama. It's so nice to meet you in person. You've still got a long way to go, but I just know you could save Princess Peach. I'll do my best to help you. Here's a present for you. So yeah, let's see what happens if we get another Star Spirit. So yeah, now we get more Star Energy. It's up to two now. And of course, she's going to give us a new Star Spirit power, Lullaby. With Lullaby, you can make all enemies fall asleep. It's basically like a sleepy shoot. But I think it has a better success rate. I'm not entirely sure about that though. But yeah, if an enemy is susceptible to sleep, then Lullaby is a very good option for them. Call on me when times are bad. Believe in this, Mario. My powers are strong. I'm a star spare after all. <laughs> Our powers are growing all the time. Keep up the good work, Mario. You must save the other star spirits as soon as possible. Well, now I'm going back to recover Star Haven. Who knows how my dear old Star Haven is faring with the Star Room? Goodbye, Mario. I'm off. Alright. And yeah, this is what spin attack looks like. It looks very funny, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that yeah, now we can kill the enemies in the desert with us, so yeah. Yep. And we got drive through them too, so that's cool. So anyway, what we wanna do is we wanna go down here because yeah, this is where Claw Rod is gonna be. Unfortunately, yeah, that didn't work out, but that's okay. So yeah, let's see. So oh yeah, we can one shot this guy now. Now, uh, very nice hammer. I try to do some styles this day, even though you definitely can't in this game, so yeah. So there we go. And this card, there you go. Now we're just gonna take this guy out with our hammer again. Our hammer is our best attack now, so yeah. Thanks to the hammer upgrade, so yeah. Very cool. Yeah, the hammer, yeah. Later on, it's not gonna be as good as a jump. Once the jump starts getting some upgrades, we're getting too many tri fruit. <laughs> Maybe I'll go back to the outpost again and store them. Anyway, I like spin attack because yeah, spinning into enemies again, it's pretty easy to do considering you know you also have um you also have um dizzy attacks, so yeah. And here's somewhere we wanna go because Colorado here, we have that artifact. And yeah, one thing about it is that um you can return to him later if you want, and it, I think it calls some different dialogue, I believe, but anyway, we'll give it to him now because I want the reward right now. Well, what ill luck. No clues about the ruins. I'm getting so frustrated, I just might have to give up the excavation for now. How very sad. I say. Mario, that artifact you hold in your hand. It looks like... it looks like quite important. Do my eyes deceive or is that a clue to try to try ruins? Mario, old chum, I beg of you. Could you possibly part with it? Yeah. Cheers, Mario. Smashing, really, old boy. Soon now, the mysterious tri tri ruins will rise from the sands that conceal them. As a brilliant archaeologist, I say it must be so. 
I suppose I thank you, get this in order, eh, old boy? Here you go, then. Starties. You now know a bit of the magic with the desert. Cherish the memory, old boy. Same, right? Anyway, I believe it can just, you know, go back. Through Mount Rocket, because, yeah, we want to do something in Mount Rocket too, so, yeah. Because we have our new hammer, so, yeah. It's gonna lead to something very nice. So... Let's just, you know, make our way through Mount Rocket once again. And yeah, does spin it. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> oh well. And yeah, Hammer kills these guys too, but yeah, might as well just use Quake. I have Flower Finder. But yeah, I was gonna see if Spin Attack works on these guys, and actually it wouldn't, because you guys see that he still gets stop us. So yeah. But yeah, we, <laughs> we limited the damage, so that's good. That we took that. So I believe what we want to do is we want to go back to basically the start. So yeah, that should be pretty easy. Unless we get first strike again. But yeah, we can obviously just do this as well. But yeah, D down pound. Yeah, we don't even need it because these guys only have two defense. So hammer kills them. So there you go. Very nice. Yeah, he's still going to stop once too. So yeah, we can take a bunch of that. Anyway, with that done, yeah, let's just... Moves the way through. The Monty Mall shouldn't give anything now, so yeah. See that? Farfine is still giving quite a lot, to be honest. Despite the fact that we're not buying any moves, we even get Honey Strip too, so yeah, we can farm items with these attack badges, so yeah. There's first attack, bump attack, and double um, spin attack, so yeah. So we go. And yeah, the fact that you can also get spin attack for free also makes it like really good as well. So use that, I guess. <laughs> Alright, here it is. We have a stone block there, and that leads to our next super block. On well, and power cry options, and yeah, again, no run choice again, but I'm actually feeling power cry, to be honest. Because yeah, I feel like the bet's attack is better, but I kinda like power cry being boosted for what's coming up, so yeah. That's just how I feel at the moment, so yeah. I can't want his shell shots to be stronger, you know, so anyway. With that done, yeah, we're done in Try Try Up with some time being. So, let's go back onto the train. Anyway, we're gonna be in the part soon because yeah, next time we're gonna be starting to do a lot of side quests. I don't know if we're gonna do all the side quests because there's quite a lot we could potentially do, so yeah. Because of our new hammer upgrade, obviously. So yeah, a lot of work for us to, well, do. And not only that too, but also we do have some other new mechanics too, like the letters for example, so yeah. So I think, yeah, what we'll do is we'll go to our usual spot, where we end these parts of course, and then yeah, next time, yeah, we're gonna be, um, you know, starting some side quests. Maybe not doing all of them, but yeah, we'll see. Because again, there's quite a lot. <laughs> that we can potentially do right now. I think we can skip this, but yeah, I decided not to. <laughs> Yeah, this does definitely look pretty cool. Alright, we're back in town. I think I'm gonna wait on our little oink, so yeah, I'm going to, you know, do that. Maybe I can even, you know, give him a buddy as well. I have a lot of money now, so yeah. Toad Town, Toad Town! Alright, so now let's... Yeah, why not? I'll give him a little oink buddy to play with. Again, I'm not, so, I'm not 100 percent sure of how this works. There's a black one, alright. <laughs> Again, we'll wait on him. So anyway. So yeah, mainly what we're gonna be worrying about next time is gonna be Totan Tunnels, because yeah, we can make some pretty good progress in that place. While we're here still. What does he have? A very good badge actually. This one right here, Dodge Master, makes the Ash Command work more frequently. That costs 2 BP, alright. Let's have a little look. So, uh, I kinda like my <laughs> spin attack team, so I'm gonna get rid of the damn pun. This is Dodge Master. Again, makes the action plan work more frequently. This is a badge I always like to have equipped in this game. Because, yeah. 
it makes power bounce it makes all your icons better. Power bounce gets a really big boost because yeah, that um yeah, you are able to get more chunks more easily, and I think it even works in your partner's icons too. So like for example, I'll be a lot more consistent with bomb bet, so that's awesome. And it's a badge I always want to have equipped, basically. So yeah. Because I can easily ash commands and there's no penalty for it in this game either, so yeah, that's awesome. Anyway, that's in the part here now that we've got that amazing badge. Next time, we're going to be starting to do a lot of side quests in Totem, so yeah, and also other areas too. But again, I think Totem Tunnels is going to be one of our main objectives next time, so yeah, look forward to that, and I'll see you guys again for that.